Hi, this is Jeff Spence, your Math 135 instructor for the Community College of Denver. And this is my intro video for the course, just to navigate D2L and get access to the book so that you can complete your first and uh, forthcoming reading and video assignments. Um, so we'll always have this widget here where I add new reading and video assignments. We'll have one due every day, or sorry, every class. So you can see already you have one due for the next class, three different sections. Um, we'll always have my contact information up here. The big thing is that you can see my uh, office uh, number, which is on the third floor of the Confluence building, and then my help hours, my office hours. So sometimes I'm in an off uh, my, my actual office, like you see here on Monday and Wednesday at 10, but sometimes I'm also in classrooms where uh, I'll be available either the half hour or the hour before the actual class that we're taking. You can come to either one. You can come at any time. You don't have to come right at the beginning. You can come for five minutes or the whole time, but I really, really highly recommend coming regularly if you can because it helps you um, uh, get good answers from me and, and form study groups with other students who come. It's really, really effective. If none of these times are good, remember that my schedule is always up and you can always click on here and take a look and see if you can schedule an appointment with me during an open time. But the main reason we're here to, to, uh, to, to show you is how to get access to the book so that you can complete your first assignment. Now this assignment and all assignments that we'll be doing in class are paper, pencil, or slash pen and paper homework. There is no online homework in this class. So in order to answer these questions, they're going to be the questions at the end of each section. So you can either buy the tangible book or get uh, access to the book online. Now, some of you may be waiting for book money or the book might be coming in the mail. Um, if that's the case, you want to know how to do this online access so that you can get your first assignment done while you're waiting for your book. So you click on this link. When you do that, um, you'll be at this page and then you want to register as a student. So you click OK, I'm ready to go. And then it'll ask you the course code. Well, that's the next thing down here. Copy and paste that in there. And you'll be in uh, one. It'll show that you're in 135 Spring 17. It doesn't matter what section. Now, most of you might have to create an account because you've never had a Pearson account. If you do have a Pearson account, you can just sign in. Most of you will have to create one though. But I'm going to sign in just to show you uh, the next window. So, if you bought the book at the bookstore and you want to have online access, it'll give you a code and a packet there. Um, I. You don't need both in this class. You just need access to the book, whether it be the actual book or an online book, but I don't recommend having both. It's not really any point. This link right here is to pay with a credit card or PayPal to have online access for one year so that you can like, uh, so that you have online access to the book. You just have to access it through a web page. Now, if you're waiting for your book, you're unsure or whatever, um, you're waiting for your book money. You can click right here to get online, uh, sorry, temporary access for free for 14 days. So this is the free access link. Please click this if you don't have your book money, you're waiting for your book, or you're unsure so that you can get your first assignment done. Now, how do you, how do you uh, let's say you do get online access, how do you find these problems? That's the next part of this. So once you get set up and go into the course, you'll, you'll be at this course homepage in the Pearson site. All right, we're not going to use this much except for just to access the book. So don't click on homework because there is no online homework. This is for online homework. So don't click there. You go to chapter contents. So the first one is section 1.1. So you go to chapter contents, click on chapter one, click on section 1.1, and then go to the multimedia e-text. Now it takes a second to load. Okay, now it's up. So we clicked on 1.1 and it takes us to the first page of 1.1. Notice you'll see the objectives at the top. On the assignment, it tells you that we're just covering objectives one through four. So the fifth objective here is something that I don't cover in this class. So you just need to go through here, take notes, or you can watch my video. I have a video linked for each one and you can take notes from the video. So you can either read or watch my video. Um, you'll wanna take notes and uh, get good notes. And so you just flip through the pages like this. And let's say you're taking notes, taking notes, or you're watching the video and you're taking notes, and then you get to the end of the section. This is where the problems are always at, at the end of each section. And you'll see a little header that says assess your understanding. That's the beginning of the problems. So if you look back, on your, you go on your piece of paper, you'll label 1.1, and the first problem that you're going to do is problem number two. 
So right here, you'll see problem number two. It says explain the difference between a population and a sample. Um, that will be the first answer that you complete for this class. Then the next one is problem four. So you jump to four, you write number four and fill in the blanks and answer that question. So the rest of the questions are all at the end of the section. Then you'll want to go to 2.1, watch the video, take notes, or do the reading and take notes, and then answer the questions. So here, you would just go from there and say, okay, I want to go to 2.1. So 2, chapter 2.1, multimedia e-text. It'll open again. It takes a little while to load, but it'll get you there. And then you start you, you know, read the section or watch the video. Go to the end of the section to find the problems and start answering those questions. So keep in mind, when you're in here, you're not using the homework link. That's for online homework. We're not doing that. And I also mention that sometimes at the beginning, I'll mention the objectives covered because we don't cover the entire section. These are not problems. The problems are listed here, and they tell you when they're due. And remember, for each section that I list here, there will always be a video provided by me. So I just want to mention this, that the videos that I've made from each of these sections are from a previous book. So you notice even when you click on the first one, it says 1.1 video. Notice on my link, it says 1.2 video, but it's just from a different set of book. Don't worry about the mislabeling. All these, all these video links have been up for years, so they're all accurate. All right, the other main thing that you need to just know in D2L is that we'll always be having updated grades. I'm a very quick grader and I'll, I'll have updated grades. Um, discussion is thing. If you ever have questions about anything, you can ask here. And then content is a big thing that we have everything backed up. So classworks will be giving out in the class. I, I don't have any yet because I haven't given any out yet. And then um, the other main thing is going to be, you know, videos are all backed up here. If you ever want to watch any videos, we have Khan Academy videos that I might link up front. And then uh, other materials, test reviews, things like that. You'll, all, you'll see right now that I already have the test reviews for each exam if you want to take a look at that. And then lastly, we have the institutional policy stuff uh, that we put in each particular class uh, in D2L now. So that's pretty much it. The main thing was just understanding how to get access to the book so that you can complete your assignment, which is due next class. Good luck. We'll see you next time.